In a universe where possibilities are endless, a secret lies hidden within the quantum fabric of reality. What if I told you that your emotions and thoughts have the power to shape the world around you? Ancient wisdom and modern science converge to reveal a profound truth. Our hearts and minds are the architects of our reality, crafting our experiences through the quantum hologram. Discover how coherent heart-based emotions can transform your health, relationships, and the very essence of your being. Join us on a journey to unlock the full potential of your consciousness. Explore the power of emotion and thought in shaping the quantum hologram of your life. Welcome to Quantum Mind. In the quantum realm, every potential outcome exists as a possibility. It might feel like a concept straight from a sci-fi film, but quantum physics has been delving into this idea for a while now. So what's it really about? Well, imagine a sea of infinite possibilities, a formless, non-physical world where every potential outcome exists. This is the quantum blueprint, a realm where all possibilities are waiting to be materialized. But how do these possibilities become realities? The answer to this question is astonishingly simple and yet profoundly complex, through our emotions and thoughts. Every time we feel an emotion or think a thought, we're interacting with this quantum blueprint. We're choosing a potential outcome and pulling it into our reality. Imagine it as choosing a path in a dense forest. Our emotions and thoughts act as our compass, guiding us toward the trail we wish to follow. Just as you wouldn't end up on a mountaintop while following signs for the valley, you can't manifest a reality that's out of sync with your inner emotional and mental compass. This is where the power of intention comes into play. When we deliberately choose our thoughts and emotions, it's as if we're steering a ship through the vast ocean of the quantum realm. Instead of merely drifting along with the currents, we grab the wheel, setting course towards our desired destination. This act transforms us from mere passengers to skilled navigators, charting our journey and sculpting the reality we wish to experience. It's important to note that this doesn't mean we can simply wish for something, and it will magically appear. The process of materializing from the quantum realm is more nuanced than that. It requires consistent thought, sustained emotion, and a deep belief in the reality we want to create. In other words, it's not just about what we want, but how strongly we feel about it, how consistently we think about it, and how deeply we believe in it. It's a dance of energy and intention, a cosmic interplay between the observer and the observed, the creator and the creation. Thus, through our emotions and thoughts, we interact with this quantum blueprint, shaping our realities. So the next time you find yourself feeling or thinking something, remember, you're not just experiencing a moment. You're actively participating in the creation of your own reality. Emotions are not just feelings, they are a language, they are the silent whispers that connect us to the unseen world of quantum possibilities. Emotions are like the keys to a map of hidden treasures, guiding us through the vast, unknown expanse of our potential. They illuminate paths that were invisible, turning the intangible into tangible experiences in our physical world. Think of them as the paintbrush that colors the canvas of our world, drawing from a palette of infinite possibilities. Believe it or not, scientific research supports this perspective, suggesting that our emotions can indeed activate specific quantum potentials. These studies have observed that our emotional states can influence the behavior of quantum particles, a phenomenon that hints at the profound impact our inner worlds can have on our outer realities. This takes us beyond the realm of simple cause and effect, introducing a deeper level of interaction between our consciousness and the world around us. This makes emotions a powerful tool in activating specific quantum potentials. Our hearts play a more significant role in this process than we might think. Heart-based emotions such as love, compassion, and gratitude are pivotal in the concept of the quantum hologram. They vibrate at a higher frequency, aligning us with positive possibilities in the quantum field. Scientific research has shown that these coherent emotions have a profound influence on both our environment and health. For instance, a study by the HeartMath Institute revealed that heart-based emotions can alter the structure of our DNA, potentially leading to self-healing. Similarly, these emotions can affect the electromagnetic field around us, impacting not only our personal space but also the world at large. So, when we consciously choose to engage with these heart-based emotions, we're not just improving our well-being, 
we're contributing to a collective shift towards a more harmonious reality. The heart is not just a pump, it's a key player in shaping our reality. Ancient wisdom and modern science may not be as far apart as we think. The teachings of yesteryears often hinted at the power of human consciousness, a concept that modern science is now beginning to understand. Take for instance the Dead Sea Scrolls. They speak of a thought universe, a realm of infinite possibilities that we now see reflected in quantum physics theories. Similarly, the Vedas from ancient India discuss the interconnectedness of all things, a concept mirrored in the holographic principle of quantum mechanics. The ancient Greek philosopher, Heraclitus, once said, character is destiny. In light of quantum physics, we can interpret this as the manifestation of our reality through our thoughts and emotions. It's fascinating, isn't it? As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, we find ourselves returning to the wisdom of our ancestors. It seems our ancestors knew more about the power of human consciousness than we gave them credit for. Our beliefs and intentions are not idle. They actively shape our experiences. Let's unpack this a bit. Our beliefs serve as lenses through which we view and interpret the world. They can limit or expand our perception of reality. Similarly, our intentions, the driving forces behind our actions, direct our energy towards a specific outcome. Now imagine these powerful forces at play in the quantum hologram, where every potential outcome exists. The placebo effect, for example, is a well-documented phenomenon in medicine. When patients believe they're receiving treatment, even if it's sugar pills, they often experience real physical improvements. This is a testament to the transformative power of belief. In one remarkable example, we encounter a man whose unwavering intention to overcome his physical limitations led him to adopt daily visualization techniques. Despite facing a grim prognosis from medical professionals, who unanimously agreed that a severe accident would leave him wheelchair-bound for life, his commitment to mental imagery and the power of positive thinking catalyzed an extraordinary recovery. Against all odds, he not only regained his ability to walk but also defied the constraints of his initial diagnosis, showcasing the profound impact of mind over matter. In essence, we are not mere observers of our reality, we are its creators. So, how can we harness this power within us? Well, the first step is awareness. Recognize that your thoughts and emotions are not just fleeting sensations, they are powerful forces that shape your reality. They are like the artist's brush that paints on the canvas of the quantum hologram, bringing forth the realities you experience. Let's dive into the practical side of things. Meditation and mindfulness are two powerful tools that can help us hone our emotional and mental states. They allow us to consciously choose the emotions and thoughts we want to energize in the quantum blueprint. Imagine meditation as a quiet space, a sanctuary within you where you can observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. It's a place where you can choose to energize positive thoughts and emotions to bring forth desired outcomes in your life. Mindfulness, on the other hand, is about being present in the moment. It's about acknowledging your emotions and thoughts as they arise without getting swept away by them. By practicing mindfulness, you can steer your emotional and mental state in a direction that aligns with your highest good. Aside from these, there are other ways you can harness the power of your thoughts and emotions. Visualization, for instance, is a potent tool. By vividly imagining the outcome you desire, you can influence the quantum blueprint and draw that outcome into your life. The power of your thoughts and emotions is not just limited to your personal life. Remember, we are all interconnected in this quantum hologram. Your positive thoughts and emotions can impact not just your life, but the world around you. As we bring this journey to a close, remember the immense power your thoughts and emotions hold. I encourage you to actively engage with them, to witness the transformation they can catalyze in your life. Embrace this inner strength and let it lead you toward a life of joy, abundance, and fulfillment. If you found value in our exploration today, help us spread this message further like share and subscribe to our channel, supporting us in growing a community dedicated to unlocking the full potential within us all. Thank you for watching.